Hello everyone, it's Citizen Wings and welcome to a brand new video and today we are doing a Q&A. So I like to do this more or less once a year because I like to have, you know, a little bit of interaction with you that is a little bit more direct. So I asked you on Twitter uh, to send me in your questions and you delivered. So let's go through them and uh, I don't know how many there are gonna be because I, I only took the screenshots and I haven't really counted them. Also, I have a new mic right here. Uh, so if the audio is weird, if the audio doesn't work or there's something, you let me know because, uh, yeah, I don't know why I bought it. I don't use it. Uh, it, it hopefully, if I ever stand up, uh, it's going to be great. <laughs> so let's jump into it. So first question here is from my friend Hippie Brene and is, what's your middle name? My middle name is Simulation. No, I'm kidding. I don't have a middle name actually. Um, I don't know. It's very. It's a very uh, American thing to have a middle name. I think, and I don't have it. I don't have a middle name. If you could marry any celebrity, who would it be? Ooh, ooh, ooh. So if I have to marry a celebrity, I think I'm gonna go with either Mason Gooding, this picture right here, uh, or uh, Jonathan Groff. Who is your favorite Sims content creator? Why is it me? Um, <laughs> you know what? Uh, I would say you. But you haven't uploaded a YouTube video in forever. You literally uploaded one uh, since beginning of the year, in, in probably like in the last five months. You uploaded one video, so like, how are you even a content creator? I guess you do your TikToks, but like, I can't even open my phone and do a TikTok as well. Like, no, I'm kidding. I love Renee's content actually, but um, I wish there were more. <laughs> Oh, so we're going straight into this. Since new topics are coming like crazy, piracy and The Sims. So um, if you haven't been on Twitter in the last couple of days, you probably have not seen any of this discussion. Uh, people were talking about whether it's okay to pirate The Sims or whatever. Personally, myself, I don't really care how you get your game. Obviously, I'm not gonna be out here promoting piracy because I don't think that's, you know, something that you should do but i'm also not going to tell you oh you cannot have the game if you cannot afford it but overall i'm not gonna shame you for using uh, for pirating a game or pirating anything because like i don't really care like i'm not gonna come into your house and checking your pockets to make sure you can afford a game or not and uh myself personally i like to buy all the packs just because i like owning the game myself but if you are not on that uh ship <laughs> I guess um, I, I like I don't really care and also I'm not gonna go around and saying oh you are going you're stealing from EA because like first and first EA has like billions of dollars in revenue every year so like they're fine I don't know with all this whole debacle that was going on on Twitter people saying shaming other people uh, for not buying the game like I understand that the game is not technically something that you need. Like it's, it's a, I guess a luxury that you need, but like entertainment, it's not a luxury. It should be for everybody. So I, I don't really care. I, I don't promote piracy. If the police is watching this video, <laughs> I don't promote piracy. I've never pirated anything in my life. No, wait, uh, crossing the fingers is bad. <laughs> Next question is, what was your favorite video you posted on your channel? I have a few that I really love, I think. Uh, first thing first, the three videos that I made on uh, like uh, builds for uh, The Sims and Scream, the Scream movies. I love those three videos. I made three different builds from the Scream movie. I love them to death. I, th I worked so hard on all three of them and I'm very, very proud on how they were received and how they, I, I love them. And also just in general, just in general, I really, really like all my videos, honestly. I really like my videos. I know some people, some content creators are like, oh, I never watch my old videos because they're cringy. I hate them, I hate my videos. And I'm like, no, I love my videos. I rewatch them all the time because I love my videos. Was there any video or content you posted you wish they could have done better? Like you could have done better with views or I could have done it better because I could have done it better. I always think that it could do better with my videos and my content. If you are saying I could have done better like view wise, I think the Bellening, my fake video trailer. Oh my God, I love that video so much. It's so funny, it's so dumb. I am going to link it in this video. So if you want to check it out, it's like a two minute video so fucking funny i laugh every fucking time i watch it so please watch it <laughs> how do you feel you're doing creatively with your content is there something you would like to change honestly at this point now that i am going into this more like 
commentary style of videos. I really like doing that other than just playing the game. Uh, I'm still going to play the game as much as I want. I'm going to post boy builds, I'm going to post cas, I'm going to post... I I'm planning on posting also like a, a let's play. So I really want to play the game again and a lot more. But I really like doing this kind of commentary video that I'm doing a little bit more. This more news and info and my my ideas and my speculation. I really like doing that. So I'm very happy with where I'm going, but I think I can like evolve a little bit more. Next questions, who's your celebrity crush? I ask, I have a few, like it changes a lot. Like I, I could tell you like 50 people. So it, it's really, it's a really, really, really hard question to ask. So I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. Um, let's say, I, I mean, I, I, I said my, celebrity boyfriend so maybe those two uh for your sims crush ooh, ooh, ooh. sims crush i would say i mean dolatario is like forever iconic she's got a point she's an icon she's a legend and she is the moment now come on now kiss marry kill bella goth nancy langrep vita alto kill nancy langrep because fuck the rich i'm gonna marry bella goth and vita alto i guess i'll um, kiss. Uh, kiss, Mary kill Dolotario, Marcus Flex, Daniel Pleasant. Kill Daniel Pleasant, marry Dolotario, and kiss Marcus Flex. If you could live in any Sims world, where would you live and what season would you start your life there in? I think it would be too easy for me to say Tortosa, because like, it's like, yeah, it's Italian based, I guess, kind of, but like, who cares? I would have to say probably Brindisville Bay, because I really like the vibe there. there it's a very nice, quaint little town near the sea. I really like that. For season to start in, I'm gonna say spring, because I always start my game in springs, and also spring is where my birthday is, and spring is my best season ever, so spring. We'll start with the questions. Do you think the Sims Twitter community enhances your Sims gaming experience? I think that definitely there's a big influence in how i play the sims and how i play the game thanks to how the community plays the game like for example mod recommendation uh cc challenges and such i really love having the twitter community to like talk about these kind of things on the same hand the twitter community is absolute batshit crazy uh so sometimes you're like Ooh. <laughs> let's really back in a little bit. I do recommend Twitter if you are a simmer for like keeping up with the community and what happens and who's cancelled this week. Uh, <laughs> if you had to play only one pack plus base game, what would it be? Maybe Discover University, either Discover University or Seasons, Undecided and either one of those two. I really like both of them. Uh, I personally really enjoy Discover University. I know a lot of people don't. Uh, but I really, really enjoy it personally, so I would say uh, one of those two. Still, for, from Star, what's the video Sims build or Sim you're most proud of and why? As I said, those builds that I made for uh, the Scream uh, series, and I'm just very happy with the, both the builds and the videos. I really, really like both. Like, 10 out of 10 for both. There are a bunch of other videos that I'm very, very proud of. Uh, for example, all my commentary videos about EA, the latest videos that I did about uh, why fans are disappointed, for example. That is also a very good video, really like that. Um, so yeah, there's a bunch of videos, actually. What's your longest gameplay legacy you played? How many gens? Um, that I actually posted on the channel. I don't think any <laughs> legacy that I posted on the channel went further than, like, two gens. Personally, I do, I do play a lot with, like, a lot of generations. I think... I did reach the 10th generation, which is where you get the achievement. I would say maybe 10th generation is the most that I did. <laughs> what do you think about piracy? Yeah, well, I talked about this already. So, you know, uh, pirates got a pirate. So, Simmer Erin, I know we have a bunch of questions from her, so let's go through them. If you could change something about the Sims community, what would it be? <sighs> Fuck. <laughs> Erin, you always have like the hard-hitting questions, I guess. First thing that I would change about the Sims community is how reactionary we are. Like at uh, the first moment we, we switch, like... I guess it's a very like Twitter community thing, but uh, you know, that happens. So maybe being a little less reactionary and hateful towards each other, because at the first like disagreement, without even trying to listen to the other side, and that happens, uh, that happened to me. I know that happens a lot to, to a lot of people online and Twitter is great for that. That happens all the time on Twitter. So a little, a little bit more understanding between each other and also stop fucking caring about which game people play. Like, I don't care. <laughs> Play whatever the fucking game you want. 
play The Sims 2, The Sims, play The Sims 3, play Sims Medieval, play Sims 4, play Sims Online, play Sims Free Play, uh, Mobile, what, I, I, I don't even care. Play whatever you want. Play all the fucking games you want. <laughs> it's a video game. What's your favorite Sims 4 toilets? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're from the hard hitting to the, the greatest question ever. Um, I would say two toilets. I really like the one that we got from City Living, I think. Um, that is like like very different weird patterns. I'm gonna post the picture. Uh, but the one that I use a lot, I think it's the Tiny Living one. Uh, if you had to design a kit, a game pack and an expansion pack, would they all be? Uh, for a kit, I personally, I think I'm gonna do like a video on what I think about kits. And, and I think you know, Erin, I talked to you about those. Uh, I think kits are way too broad sometimes for like uh, what they should be so I would like a kit that it's like very specifically catered to like a specific like either furniture style or like a, a streetwear style like do a kit that it's all like Scandinavian furniture inspired because I know that's a style that a lot of people love and I personally really like it so like Scandinavian furniture or maybe do a an Ikea pack it could be nice and a little a little niche but also like kind of interesting that other people that are not really into it might buy it i don't know i know they're not gonna do that but uh, as i said i want to do a video about this so as for game pack honestly either bands i would really, really like those but i think i would like bands to be a secondary part of an expansion pack and i'm gonna talk about that when i talk about the expansion pack for a game pack i would like to have hotels and they would work like uh, shops and restaurants, but you are running an hotel. I just really love management. So having like a game pack about hotels where your hotel management oh, would love that. As for the expansion, as I said, I would like to have bands in them, but not being the center focus of the expansion pack. So being like an expansion pack that is all about after school activities and you go with your sim child to elementary school and you have after school activities. One of them is picking up an instrument and going to band practice. And one of them is I don't know, uh, swimming, and one of them is something else, I don't know, a bunch of after-school activities, for example, would be very nice, uh, especially for children, because we don't really have a pack that is focused only exclusively on children, or, I don't know, something fun, something fun and different. I really like the fun and different kind of style packs, like they did with Strangerville, I really like Strangerville, so kind of something like that, maybe. Random build by item you really want. The giraffe lamp <laughs> from, I think it's Vintage Glamour. That one. The hardest part of creating content and any videos you regret making. The okay, hardest part of creating content is, for me, coming up with ideas and following through with them because I do come up with a lot of ideas and then I put them on the side and never do them. So I need to follow through a little bit more with my content, I think. So I guess the editing also, it's pretty hard. Like it's fun, but also it's not really like super easy to go through and edit stuff. Uh, but I think, yeah, the hardest part is like following through with the ideas. Any videos you regret making? I don't think I have any videos that I'm like, oh, I would have never posted that. Like I, I would love to go back and make some of my videos better, but I don't really regret posting any videos. Maybe, <laughs> you know what, actually, maybe me copying Renee's build for the uh, April's Wars <laughs> thing. Maybe that one I regret. <laughs> If you could live in another country, would you where and why? Uh, I would say probably yes. I do love living in Italy. It's a very nice country, not the greatest. I would like to live, I think in the Netherlands would be very nice. I just really like the vibe there. It's very chill, it's very nice. People are very friendly. I've been there and I loved it. I loved Amsterdam, very, very nice country. But what does the Sim franchise do best and worst? Well best i think it's pretty easy and i think it's just simulation of real life that is like the peak i cannot think of another game that ever even come close to any sims game as in how well they simulate life and real people like it's pretty insane as to what they do worst i think for the sims franchise there is a bigger discussion as to what they include in the game and to how inclusive it can be. I think that it's a thing that especially happens with The Sims 4 because of the fact that it's a little bit more online uh, with the community and there's a little bit more like talking about this. Um, but honestly, even I'm thinking like in The Sims 2, for example, uh, which is probably one of my favorite games ever, like the skin tones are not really there, right? There's like four skin tones and there, there's not really like a, the, 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 the body sliders are not really inclusive. 
and uh, the gender customization is not there. So, like, I think that they are working on it very well on The Sims 4. That is a very, like, big improvement. And that also definitely comes from the people asking for it on Twitter and online in general. And also from the different period of time that we're living in, I guess. So I think they could be better, of course, at representation. And they should have representation from the beginning, from the first release of a game. So I'm really hoping that for The Sims 5, they are going to work on that a lot. And be as inclusive as possible from the beginning instead of that being like an afterthought that they add after. Have you ever used Wicked Whims to make your Sims of a hot sim woohoo? Um, court? Judge? Judge? My, my, my lawyer says that I cannot answer this question. <laughs> I cannot answer this question, sorry. Fifth Amendment, right? <laughs> Or whatever it is. What is your favorite no Sims game? Ooh, either I would say. I mean, I, th I think it's too easy for me to say Sims City. Uh, I would say either uh, Planet Coaster, Stardew Valley. I love Stardew Valley. I, I just really like gaming in general, but I I mostly play like simulation games. So I think um, anything that falls in under that category, I really really enjoy. As for a non-simulation game that I really really like, I would say I would say maybe a Call of Duty. Why not? Call of Duty Black Ops, the, the first one, the Black Ops, the, the one from, I think, PS3. Love that game. Best Call of Duty ever. What's your favorite American snack? Easy. Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Please. Reese's. Look at me. Reese's. I am in love with you. If you are watching this video, if anybody from <laughs> Reese's is watching this video, send me a box of Reese's peanut butter cups because I cannot find them here. The only place I can find them is at the cinema. <laughs> so I literally go to the cinema and I buy peanut butter cups. I think I'm insane. I think that's insane. I think that's insanity of me going to the movies, buying a ticket for a movie, and then going to the snack session to get a Reese's peanut butter cup. <laughs> Who's your favorite singer? Ooh, lots of singers that I really like. Um, I don't really have like a favorite singer, but I would say like I have a, I have a few that I really, 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 really like. As a singer, as in like technically like performance and voice, uh, I would say Beyonce and Lady Gaga. As for like songwriter, I really like Taylor Swift. And just in general, I really like like female voices, way more than male voices. Uh, guys, uh, I'm sorry. You can sing as well as you want. I'm not gonna enjoy it. <laughs> so mean. <laughs> Loris Roder, Sydney Prescott, easy. As much as I love my original Scream Queen, Loris Road, original Scream Queen, amazing, gorgeous, uh, talented, brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Never been done before. Uh, Sydney Prescott, I think it's such a cool character and she is so badass. I cannot not say her. What point in your life did you decide to become the worst person ever? Um, the day I was born. <laughs> if you could ask to marry any Sims Tony, who would it be and why would they turn it down? It would be Don Lothario and he would turn me down because he doesn't want to get married. Uh, I think Cassandra Goff know that very well. He does not want to be tied down. Why am I so much better than you, girl? If you gotta say it all the time. You know? Yeah. Right. You got it. What is your favorite Italian curse word and why? Easy. I think I answered it in another Q&A. Uh, it's cazzo, which is technically means dick, but like you can use it the same way as in English you can use fuck. And of course, fuck is my favorite English curse word. So in Italian, it would be cazzo. What's the favorite drama you've ever been part of? I don't th I don't think I have a favorite. I've been in a few, sh with the words especially, uh, a few dramas. I think actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I think my latest tweet, as of me recording, I posted a tweet that it's like, everybody, if you want to eat spaghetti, you have to ask me first, which was a dig at someone. And that person just, <laughs> I fell out, blocked me. <laughs> Oh fucking funny. She, she blocked me for a fucking spaghetti tweet. Uh, spaghetti is culture, people. Spaghetti is culture. What do you think is your most successful trolling? Oh, that has to be the uh, video that I did uh, copying Renee's build for April Fools. Uh, the people were mad, so, and we were both so laughing about it, it was very funny. But people were very mad about it, and they were very mad at me, and, like, it was a lot, it was very funny to see. Uh, so I would have to say that, because it worked very well, and from that, it stemmed the best video I have on my channel, probably. 
uh, which is my fake apology. Uh, if you want to check out my and Renee's feud, I have a playlist, actually. Are there any other games that you're passionate about, like Sims? As much as I love other games, like I love Planet Coasters, I love like all the, the, the simulation games that I play, I love SimCity. Maybe, honestly, maybe SimCity would be like up there with The Sims because back when SimCity 4 uh, was out. I remember I was in forums talking about it. Uh, I was looking up mods about it. Maybe back in the day it was that, but and I don't think there's another game that I'm that much into the community of and that into like the, 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 the mindset, the mentality of that I have with The Sims. <laughs> I thought Bob says Millie needs a shout out. Of course, Millie. Pictures of Millie. What random Italian things should be added to The Sims? Honestly, at this point, I really wanted an Italian word, but I guess Tortosa is the Italian word, even though I don't, it's not super Italian to me. I think bidets is the thing that we need in The Sims 4, and not like a toilet with a bidet, like a separate bidet, like we have here. And that is needed, that is necessary, and that is what I want. All my bathrooms, all the bathrooms that are in Italy, all the bathrooms that I've ever seen in my life in Italy have a bidet. So. Give me one, just just one, just one bidet. Oh, another, I know this is another hard hitting question. How do you feel about players complaining about quality of a pack and then purchasing said pack, effectively giving EA the go ahead to continue maintaining a low level of quality because people will buy it anyway? I think, that, again, this is a very, very big question to talk about. And I don't want to spend like five minutes on just this reply and i do kind of want to do a video also about this so if you're interested in, in knowing more what i think about this topic i think there's a lot to talk about and i might talk about it maybe with the kit uh pack because there is a definitely like a a thing with kits i would say that as i said for a piracy thing i'm not gonna come in your house and check your pockets to make sure you can or not afford certain packs and what you should spend your money on so if you want to buy a pack that you believe it's not great or not high quality you're more than welcome to do so uh it's your money i'm not gonna stop you to do so but on the other hand, I do think that it's a very effective way to not just buy a pack if you don't like it. If you are complaining about it, if you don't like it, if you don't think it's worth the money, I don't understand why you're paying the money then. Uh, you shouldn't buy it. And it's the most effective way to let EA know that you don't want this pack. You, if you don't buy it, the pack doesn't do well. EA will have to look into why it didn't do well and hopefully improve. So if you don't enjoy something, don't buy it. I think it's a very easy thing to do. It's the best way to go after a pack, say, hey, this content that you posted, I don't like, I'm not gonna buy it. I think it's the most effective way. When people complain about it and then buy it, I think it's very weird. I have complained about packs in the past, of course, but the packs that I complained about, for example, like Journey to Batu, I because personally I don't really enjoy Star Wars and I don't really get why it was introduced. So yeah, I talked about that pack for a while, negatively, of course, and uh, the only reason I have it is because it was gifted to me. I've never bought it. As for other stuff, for example, like kits that don't live up to expectation with like content and quality, I have not bought all the kits, so uh, only bought the kits they really wanted and the kits that really uh, were interesting to me, honestly. So I would say overall, yeah, it's weird when someone complains about a pack not being up to par uh, with their expectation and then buying it and then also continue to complain about it. Like, I think you should have known. I think you should have known. If you want to buy it, go ahead, do whatever you want. Uh, and if you enjoy it and you want to buy it, even if it's not high quality, I'm not gonna stop you because why would I care? If you enjoy it, you can buy whatever you want. But if you don't enjoy it and you buy it and you complain about it, it's kind of weird. What first inspired you to dive deep into The Sims? Not what you made you play, but instead, what was it that made The Sims become such a significant part of your life? I would say that at first, I just really enjoyed the game and I wanted to play a lot with it. I think what really got me like into The Sims community is the community itself. Like finding out that there is a big part of people online that are playing The Sims and talk about The Sims and post The Sims and show their sims and share their sims and all of that i think that just really pushed me into the community even more and i wanted to share my stuff and show my stuff and talk about sims and just having someone that i can always go to and talk about this game that i really like i think it's just very nice also of course there's a lot of creators that really inspire me to create my own content but i think that's another 
uh, thing. Are you next going on holidays and will there be lots of really clear photographs of Roman engineering, particularly stone and concrete structure that are still sounds in use today? <laughs> Actually, I don't know when I'm going next on a holiday, but there's definitely gonna be Roman architecture if I'm in Europe, so <laughs> probably. What is your favorite item in the game? Can be build or cast or do one for both? This is a very hard question. I would say maybe for build, there is a, like a shelving unit from Eco Lifestyle that I just really, really like. I think that has to be one of my favorite items ever. Other than that, maybe still from Eco Lifestyle, I just really like that tray with the bottle and glasses. I think that's also very nice. For creative sim, I think I might have to say there is like a, a female bodysuit that also goes under jeans and pants, which I really love. And it comes like with pretty basic colors. I don't remember what pack it's from. If it is a pack, maybe it's base game. But when you put jeans on, it actually covers up the bottom part of the bodysuit. Uh, so I just really love that because it looks like a very like, sleek, tight tank top, which I really, really like. Do you think Bobaboo is adorable? Yes, this is Bobaboo. Very cute. Adorable. What is your opinion on pack pricing? I think all the packs are pretty pricey. Would love to see a reduction in price? Yes. Will it ever happen? No, never. I think it's a lot of money. I think it's a lot of money. Uh, especially kits. I think kits should be like a few bucks less. Like they're $5.00. I think they should be like two. If you had a top 10 for wishes for The Sims, what would it be? A top 10, that's a lot of wishes. I would say hotels, bands, more activities for children, more activities for elders, put fairies in them just because we can complete the occult things, a refresh for island living, a refresh for outdoor retreat, uh, more stories uh, in the Strangerville mystery, so more options and more stuff that comes through. More furniture for the kitchen, like more electro like, like electronic stuff, like a toaster would be nice, uh, uh, um, a microwave that go hangs to the wall, that would be very nice. Dying out fixed, <laughs> that's a top 10. What's your favorite color? Blue, easy. When did you start making Sims videos? I was very inspired, I I found uh, Sims 4 videos uh, when The Sims 4 was firstly released, I think it was 20, either, either the end of 2014 or the beginning of 2015 and I found the Ligris's videos first. I watched a couple of her videos, I really enjoyed it. Then I found James Turner, really enjoyed his videos. And those two really like inspired me to start uh, like entering the community online and all of that. And then starting to make Sims videos later on. How many languages do you speak? So I speak Italian, of course, as my main language. I speak English as I'm speaking right now, which is pretty easy to understand. Uh, I speak French, um, not super well, but I do know some French. I studied it for eight years, but for the eight years that I did study it, I don't know the French that well. I do know a little bit of German. Again, studied it for five years, but I don't know German that well. I do know a little bit of Spanish. Uh, I know a, I got like the bare minimum of Japanese and a, 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 even the barest minimum of Russian. I think Russian, I'm not even gonna count it because just I know to read the alphabet and some words. And Japanese is like, I know basic, basic, basic stuff. Like I, I know I wouldn't even have to like be able to hold a conversation. I think the other files are fine. What celebrities do you have in your Sims game? Honestly, I don't think I have any celebrities like other than baby Ariel, I guess, <laughs> because she is in the game. Um, and uh, no, I don't, I don't have any celebrities actually in the game. What would you add to The Sims 4 to make it better? This is a very broad question again. Not really sure what I would add, like, specifically to make it better. I think the main thing that The Sims 4 needs right now is a big base game update for like bug fixes and retexturing. I would love to see that retexturing of the base game items. And I would like to have clothes that fit both masculine and feminine framed Sims uh, a lot better. So it would be a lot of work, I know, because they would have to go through all the clothes that they ever released, but I would like to be able to put on any clothes on any type of Sims and not make it look weird, because I know um, male framed pens on female framed Sims make their hips look weird, and vice versa, female tops on male framed Sims make their chest look weird. So I would like it to not be like that, so that I could use any type of clothing for any Sim. Why are you so mean to Hippie Renee? <laughs> when does she deserve it? I, I honestly, I, I think it all started just because I, one day, I, I, it was 2020 and I was like bored at home because we was quarantining. And I was like, hey Renee, I know it's Cypress Fools almost, like in a couple of days. Can I make a video where I make fun of you? And she was like, oh, of course you can, go ahead. 
and I made the video and then she responded to that and then it started like that like <laughs> it's so funny what is Renee so mean to you and what do you deserve it it's the, the same reason uh it, we were we love to do that we love to do it it's part of our essential personality part of our who we are making fun of each other and hating each other is there any Italian food more comforting than spaghetti alla carbonara <sighs> I do love spaghetti alla carbonara, the spaghetti sculpture, as I said, <laughs> but I would say maybe, I would say lasagna, I, would, I love lasagna so much. Tortellini, which is very specific for me, I actually want to get it a tattoo of uh, tortellino, because, uh, duh. I think just in general, I just really love Italian food, and that is the biggest reason why I, like, living in Italy would be so hard for me, because, like, I'm living all this great food behind. Are you still in the university? What degree are you pursuing? Yes, I am. I am studying uh, forensic psychology. What features are you looking forward to using in the upcoming release of The Sims 13 to be? <laughs> so I don't think, I don't think The Sims 13 is coming. Uh, I don't even think The Sims 5 is coming that soon. And honestly, I I'm not really super excited for The Sims 5, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, I don't really enjoy multiplayer games. I don't really enjoy only online games, especially for The Sims. I think The Sims should be just offline and should be single player. Sorry, I know EA doesn't think the same. Hopefully The Sims 13 will be a single player offline game. <laughs> I don't mind that Project Renee, as we are calling it, uh, will be online if it also will be offline. And that's all the questions. All the questions are done. So thank you for everybody that left your questions and you're giving me a lot of great ideas for videos that I want to make now. <laughs> so I have a couple of videos in mind now. But thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe to my channel. So whatever, uh, I'm going to have more videos coming out to you. As of right now, I am studying for exams. So content might be a little bit slow, but hopefully after the exams, I'm going to pick it back up pretty fast. So thank you so much for watching and bye bye.